Time now for the markets with Leighton. And Leighton, the monthly supply and demand reports are just out. That's right. And we have a cautionary note, if you want to call it that, about the numbers, at least from one analyst in his mind. Also ahead this weekend, the market's advice to execute some new crop corn sales. Mexico expands access to U.S. beef as the PED virus is forecast to reduce hog slaughter by the third quarter of the year. Friday, May 9th brought the release of the government's monthly snapshot of ag in the United States. Analyst Todd Haltman with DTN urges both growers and traders not to take that report too seriously. Haltman says, quote, this year's grain game has barely begun. The preliminary numbers could be affected by any number of factors in coming months. Well, U.S. corn prices are definitely better now than they were at the beginning of the calendar year. Analyst Mark Gold tells growers he would be looking to sell some new crop corn if you haven't already. 20, 25 percent of your forward prices into, into the fall. I'd be having some put options on for maybe another third of that. If we get the corn in the ground nationally by June 1st, I'd be buying some more puts. We're selling some more grain. And if we come in in mid-July and we look at the longer-term forecast, if it looks like a fairly normal July out here, I would be getting the rest of it done. Let's break from the markets to look at the trivia quiz for this week. May, if you haven't heard, is National Barbecue Month. So check out our question, what is the most popular meat to prepare on a grill? Is the answer chicken or steak? or hamburgers or hot dogs. I'll tell you at the end of the markets. It was confirmed this week that the Mexican government has decided to expand access to U.S. beef imports into that country. The U.S. Meat Export Federation says Mexico will now allow all beef and beef products from animals of any age slaughtered after May 28th of last year. This news culminates a 10-year effort to normalize trade in beef products between the two countries. Agricultural economist Steve Meyer is forecasting third quarter hog slaughter in the U.S. will be down over 9.5% from last year due to the PED virus. Meanwhile, trader Tom Fitzenmeyer says he has seen some stability in the sector despite continuing virus trouble. You've got reduced numbers because of PED, and then, and then you've got all this extra weight. That weights were up again in cattle and hogs both this past week. So uh, that, that's, the tonnage hasn't gone off that much. And, it, and as a result, it kind of has kind of kept the lid, I guess you say, a little bit on, on hogs. And, and I, th I think they've probably overdone, especially those fourth quarter hogs, are really pretty, pretty heavily discounted. I, I would expect them to start to uh, move up a little bit and catch up with where the, where the nearbys are at. Before our feature story, let's check the trivia answer for this week. The correct choice is C. A barbecue study found that burgers topped the list of the most popular meat to prepare using a grill.